Welcome to your weekly reading for February 25th through March the 3rd. Yes, we're already in March. Um, first, I'm going to talk about astrology. I brought out this deck of cards. Spirit told me to bring that out because I think we're going to talk about each transit or whatever. Um, so basically, the sun is still in Pisces here. The sun is in Pisces, and you're very dreamy still, okay? You're in that dreamy state, doing a lot of imagining, probably really in your feelings about things, okay? Yeah, really in your feelings and learning how to heal yourself, learning how to, to get past your feelings, to work through your feelings. Uh, maybe... Yeah, that's all I'm hearing. You're working through your feelings. So that's what the sun is doing for you during this time. Keeping you dreamy, keeping you floaty, keeping you... It's like you're paying attention to your emotions, but you're not letting them take over you or it's important for you to focus on them not taking over you. And you're probably focusing on yourself. That's what you're doing. You're focusing more on yourself and more on the things that are tangible instead of the things that are in your mind, okay? Or the things that are um, just floating through your mind, you know? So next on the first, we have Mercury and Jupiter going direct, okay? Mercury is about the mind and communication. So basically, you'll be better able to communicate better able to express what's on your mind, okay? But that Pisces energy is still around. So even though you're in your mind and even though you know you need to make decisions, it's a little wonky um, because you still have that dreamy energy. So the two of pentacles came out because it's about prioritizing what is important, okay? And not going so far into your emotions, but focusing on tangible situations, but because your heart is open, you're able to love unconditionally and look past like hard communication or hard words or people saying things that may not be nice. I'm just going to say that that may not be nice and seeing the, the heart of the matter. You also had the emperor that came out here when I talked about that. Mercury and the Emperor talks about standing strong, standing strong in what you believe, taking control of your emotions, your finances, your material existence, your creativity. It's like standing in what it is that you believe. Okay, next you have Jupiter, which is also direct, I said, on March the 1st, and that is about luck growth and wisdom okay so this could be a very lucky time for you because of that it also talks about growth in your emotions because of pisces being in the sun growth in um learning all the things that you have learned you are moving that forward you had the nine of swords come out so all of that anxiety and all of that depression that you may have been feeling by being stuck in your head earlier this week, you are going to stand strong in that energy. And you're going to use that, that wisdom to connect with spirit about how it is that you should move or sway during this week, okay? Spirit said one more card and it fell right out. Okay, so you're walking away from some old things, okay, and realizing and paying attention to what you do have or the new possibilities that are opening up to you this time, okay? And that is the wisdom, is that you're learning that. If you look at this card, it looks like this man is meditating. He's meditating over the past, meditating, not obsessing, meditating over the past and looking towards the future, the open sea of all the possibilities, Okay, next in March 2nd, you have a full moon in Virgo, okay? So that talks about, okay, so with this full moon in Virgo, um, you're, it, it's almost like you're in a search for a perfection or what perfection is, okay? So you may be, because um, Mercury is direct, you may be very sharp with your tongue, okay? So it talks about being polite and patient with others, 
okay? Because the thing is you're trying to get your emotions and what you want out, but you're really held tightly to what you believe, okay? So it talks about opening yourself up a little bit to think about other people's feelings and how you may make them feel by doing that. And that is about intuition, about other people's feelings. If you're an empath, this is a really good time to use that skill, okay? Also, you will want to serve a lot of people this month, okay? Um, the reason why the world came up is because it's okay to serve others or to help others, but you have to know when to stop doing that. If it's something that you've been doing in the past and it hasn't been working for you, you need to move past it, okay? It also talks about you trying so hard to be of service that you're doing it with your own knowledge and how you think or what you think they need and not actually what they need. With Mercury being direct, it's time for you to use, well, Mercury and Jupiter, it's time for you to use the wisdom that you've learned and your um, direct communication to get those things out. There we go. Temptation, which is the devil and the nine of wands. So it talks about learning from the past and moving on from the past and moving forward, okay, with spiritual strength, with your own strength to move forward. Ask people what they need, okay? Ask people what they need, and this was going to start something very passionate for you. Because, because you're in the need to serve others, if you ask them what they exactly want or what they need, then you can serve them correctly, and it can open up new routes for you spiritually, in love, in work, in any area. Okay? So let's get on to the readings. Hello, Earth Signs. This is your reading for February 25th through March 3rd. And I'm going to start with Taurus. So, Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for February 25th through March the 3rd? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? It has something to do with moving forward or moving too fast because I see a car in a garage like it's revving up but the door isn't open hmm On the bottom of the deck, you have the devil card. Underneath that, you have the fool, okay? So you're dealing with some energies that are holding you back from taking a risk, okay? So you need to gain control. Maybe if it's easier for you to set some rules, but I feel like that was, I don't know why, but I feel like that was a problem in the past. Um, and you're learning how to let go of that and take some moves or take some risks okay there may be a cancer scorpio or pisces in your life that is offering you something and you're there <clears throat> i feel like they're losing hope in you not losing hope but faith that you can take the risk that you need to take to move forward because you're so trapped in your head it's like you can't see how to balance things or how to do moderation how to how to make things flow but they are working with you because they do want something steady, which is why they're still in this energy of trying to offer love and affection to you, okay? I don't feel like they're being nurturing. I, th I think they're trying to push you, okay? It may have something to do with your family uh, leaving you out in the cold or feeling like your family or others are not supporting your needs, and that's what's making you feel trapped is that you don't have that support system that you used to have. And you don't know if you can just go off of <clears throat> what this Knight of Cups is saying to you. 
okay? So you're stuck in your mind, definitely with the hangman, and trying to change your perception of things, even though um, you have a smaller group. I feel like you have a smaller group of people, uh, new people in your life, and not that larger group that you're used to. You are trying to figure out what is truth to you. Okay, you're trying to make the best judgments and balance things out. It's like you're trying to tell your partner, I'm still trying to get over this devil energy. I'm still trying to get over this old energy. I just can't take risk like you can. I just can't jump in like you can. Just, just bear with me here. Okay. Money looks good, by the way. Money looks good. But I feel like you're so trapped in your head and you're really trying. It's like you want to tell this person or your partner, I am really, really trying, okay? But I feel like you just have differences, and I'll show you here in this in these cards. You just have differences on the way that you do things. You're thinking of the past, okay, and what happened um, with your family or with that larger group of people that kind of left you out, you're still in thinking mode. You're still trying to process what's happening. But you have this other energy of needing to move forward. And these two things are not meeting. Okay. So you do want to move forward. You do want to make decisions. And you do want to do something different. But right now you're thinking of a plan on how to do that. Because that's who you are. You are a planner. You want to have control over a situation before you jump off the cliff. You're going to jump off the cliff with the proper apparatus, okay? Gratitude. Say thank you and <clears throat> experience the joy of acknowledging others. So let people know that you hear what they're saying, but also let them know that you're a different type of person and you just can't handle this kind of pressure the same way that they handle pressure. Even though they're doing it out of love, it still feels like it is pressure on you, okay? All right, Taurus. Next, we have Virgo. Spirit, what do you have for Virgo <clears throat> for February 25th through March the 3rd? What would you like them to know, be aware of, or pay attention to at this time? Acknowledge for their own growth. Virgo. February 25th through March the deck you have the death card underneath that you have the king of cups I feel like you're trying to balance your emotions I feel like you're reliving things or you're reliving something with a person something that has ended with a person and you're regaining your emotions and getting control of your emotions, trying to understand your emotions so you can be a better you. <clears throat> like you're reevaluating how you do love so you can do love better. Okay? You have the two of swords. 
And this is you not making a decision. I feel like there's other people around you because you have the Six of Wands here. But I feel like there are other people around you. Uh, particularly, I see everything. Um, but definitely Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're closer to the Earth sign and the Water sign than you are the Fire sign in this spread. Okay? There may also be a Scorpio that you're trying to regain your emotions back from. But anyhow, um, you feel trapped and you're trying to balance the fact that you don't want to make a decision. Like, I feel like you do want to make a decision, but you're trying to make a balanced decision. Now, with this earth sign, I feel like this person is close to you and they don't push you. But you're, if this is a person you're dealing with, you're close to a new cycle with this person. But you may put it to an end or start a new beginning, one of the two. Now, with this Knight of Cups here, Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is offering something more sturdy. It feels more like friendship. It feels more like something sturdy. This Knight of Cups is offering you love. And it feels like they made a decision, but they haven't quite got themselves together the way that they need to. Because they're pointed away from you towards the hangman. I feel like they have a lot of thinking to do. And you're trying to figure out where you would be most happy and where you would have victory at because that's what you want. You want victory. So you're not going to step off of this ledge. Like you're not going to unhook your foot until you know that that's where you want to be. Okay? And if you're dealing with a fire sign, I don't feel like you're quite happy with that fire sign. Like they may have another family or something. But emotionally, you're not getting that from that fire sign. So you're, you're stuck in this energy of not wanting to make a move, especially with the two of swords here. You're weighing your options is what I'm hearing. Thinking of what relationships will be like with these individual people. Trying to think of a new perspective on how to look at things possibly. Because I don't feel like you're saying no, but I don't feel like you're saying yes either, Virgo. <clears throat> you're standing up for what's right. And all you know is that it doesn't feel right right now, especially with the hangman. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to yourself. And you're doing a lot of contemplation. Not like hermit contemplation, though. You have some enlightenment of what it is that you want. So you're not looking for enlightenment. But because you're still stuck there, you know that it's not where you want to be quite yet. Okay? You have the Three of Swords here that came up. The Three of Swords <clears throat> is telling me that you're separating from these people... You're keeping your heart separate and your thought. It's a head or heart decision. Thank you, spirit. So, of what you want with these people. You don't want to go down the same route. So, you're being very selective. You're listening to the things they say, the things they do. And weighing your options very carefully. Money is steady this week for you, Virgos. Very steady. You're working, doing the same thing, paying bills, same stuff, nothing different, okay? Independence. Decide for yourself. Exercise your right to choose. 
That's what you're doing. I don't have to say much about that card, do I? Okay. Last but not least, we have Capricorn. Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn? <clears throat> for February 25th through March the 3rd, what would you like Capricorn to know? February 25th through March the 3rd, what would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of? For February 25th through March the 3rd, Capricorns. Capricorns, I see you climbing a staircase trying to get to the top. And there is something dangling at the top of that staircase, but you aren't quite there. It feels like you, it, it's interesting because it feels like you're walking up the staircase, but it's not, you haven't quite made it there yet. Okay. It almost feels like a trick staircase, like it keeps sliding you back down. Hey Capricorn, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Definitely a Gemini here, okay? You have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck and the Lovers underneath that. So I feel like you're in a love situation that keeps going back in a cycle. It feels like whoever you're dealing with cannot make a decision. Like they keep getting tangled up in their thoughts and you keep getting stuck in this cycle. Okay. So you have the seven of swords here and it feels to me like you're not completely happy. Okay. And you can't understand why it just can't be. It, it seems like every time you get close, they slip away again. Okay. And I feel like you're going to communicate that or they're going to communicate that with you. That there's some sort of disruption here. And you just want to get the truth out. I feel like you're trying to do it in a sneaky way because you don't want to ruffle feathers. But you definitely are trying to get some sort of truth or some sort of knowledge out of the situation and why this keeps happening. Okay? There may be a fire sign around as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like... I feel like you're, okay, because you're not getting what you want, you're focused on getting what you want, okay? So you're dead focused. You're using that earth Capricorn energy to try to get some truth out of someone, okay? Because you're starting to lose faith in what's happening. You don't feel good, but the will of fortune is coming in to change the tides again. I feel like this is going to come up a lot for you. Um the the will of fortune is coming to change the tide so i feel like this communication presses the issue of what it is that you want because you took this i feel like you don't want to get your heart broken okay and you're trying to manifest things to the best of your power to not get your heart broken because that's not what you want here. I do feel like there is going to be a meeting of the minds, okay, and things are going to work out. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for something stable because this is pentacles being offered to you, okay? So I feel like they're going to work with you. Um, I heard getting out of the friend zone.
there may be someone else behind the scenes that's helping push things along too. And they may be one that is moderating as well. The magician does also talk about magic as well. Because you feel tangled up in a situation. You feel like you want to get out. Maybe you uh, manifested some things or put something into the ethers to help the situation move forward. Because... It feels like this person keeps slipping away from you and you're so dedicated to making that happen. So the magician talks about you putting in that energy and it looks like it works out. Three, talk about it talks about communication. So I feel like your communication turns the tides within a situation because the lover's card comes out to say that there is a bond here. There is a bond. And I feel like they want to work with you. I feel like they're happy. They're happy that you took control over a situation, believe it or not. Okay? And this helps it move forward. This helps push them out of this state of waiting. This state of just being complacent within the situation. Okay? And... They're leaving this old situation and moving into a love offer. Or this could be you walking away from this person and accepting an offer from a water sign. If it's not that person, okay? But regardless, you're going to have some new beginnings with the Ace of Wands. Okay? You may have a passionate night as well. And this person still holds on to their emotions. I feel like you're trying to get them to communicate and say how they feel. Or to know what direction this thing is going in. You have help. Ask for help. Receiving is an act of generosity. And I feel like you're asking them, please just tell me what you want, okay? Please. And what this does, because it's an act of generosity, is you open up the gates for them to express how they feel or at least get some sort of clarity on what's going on. I don't see any Ace of Swords, so I I don't really want to say clarity. But I feel like it opens up something because with the Eight of Cups, you do walk away from something. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. I love you so much. I'll see you next week. Love and light. Bye-bye.